Okay, and this time we're going to be talking about the Megalogger. I have recently updated to the firmware version 3.33. I was on version 2.0.1 or 2.1.01 of those two. It was a really old firmware from 2008, and now I'm on a firmware from 2014, uh, November 12th, 2014. I guess. Now I have a lot more options and <laughs> it's really cool. I highly recommend that you upgrade your firmware if you're running Megasquirt 2. You will get more features if you're running a really old firmware. Let's see, last time I showed that I get attack support now and O2 gauges and TPS and this is IAT. Yep, there goes my manifold temp and my coolant so I'm good to go there. Okay, now once you get your board up and running, your Mega Stem, and everything looks good in your firmware, one of the first things that you should do, other than save your base tune, is to uh, start a data log. So we're going to go up here to data logging. Before you do that, the first thing you should do is open your Mega Log Viewer. Now currently, Mega Log Viewer is a separate program for viewing logs from Tuner Studio, but in the future, they will be integrating that, I believe. Here we go. Log viewer. Okay, so now that we have Mega Log Viewer open, we're going to see, and I can't close this one, so whatever. So we're going to go to data logging and click on start logging. And this should be the very first thing you do after you confirm that your Mega Stim is running and your Mega Squirt unit or uh, Micro Squirt unit is operating correctly. So we'll click start logging, save the log file. It automatically creates a date file for you. And now we're logging. So I'll just mess with the engine speed here and mess with some parameters. And um, we're going to go ahead and open the log after this and show you what it looks like in the log viewer. Okay, so I mess with some parameters. I'm also going to do my, uh, my map sensor. So I'll use suction on my map, get some load in there. Let that go, just to test that. And then we will stop logging. And then we'll switch over to Mega Log Viewer. And we'll open the latest log. And this is everything that we just did. Uh, and as you can see, there's a ton of parameters down here that you can't see in the free version unless you change gauges. So all of this stuff, if you right click and you go to your inputs, your outputs, all of that stuff is displayed down here in one page. So it makes it easier to see all of your data. So if we go up here, you can also choose which data parameter that you want to show. And it's got a lot of parameters. And you click down here on play and it will play through your uh, your log file and this white line at the top is your time so if it takes longer than this singular view by the time this little white line gets up to the very top corner here you know that it's getting closer to the end of the log so that's your time your time scale and you can see all the little data parameters moving um, and I was thinking well this is great and all but wouldn't it be nice to be able to see this in real time kind of like auto ingenuity or some of the other real-time scan tools show so you can do this after the fact and instead of running back and forth and back and forth and going through logs and seeing and doing different changes it's always better to do it in real time I mean logs are great and all but it's always better if you're tuning or you're doing diagnostics to be able to see it in real time so that kind of brings us back to tuner studio and one of the new options that I got when I upgraded the firmware to 3.33 that was not in 2.01 is coming down here to real-time data display. I'll click on that and now I'll go and I'll move some of these parameters and that is engine speed over here and you can see that moves in real time so now I've got a real-time data display and anything past this little point in time, which I'm guessing is, you know, maybe 10 seconds, if it's longer than that, then you would start a data log. And you can log at the same time you're doing the real-time display. You can do this all simultaneously. Um, and currently, 
uh, your data logs are in a separate program, like I said, but they are integrating that into Tuner Studio. So eventually they might get rid of Mega Log Viewer completely and all of your data logging will be done within Tuner Studio. Um, that's some changes that are coming up and there's a lot of people in the forums, the MS Extra forums that are really excited to see a lot of this stuff. So as you can see, this should make diagnostics really easy. Uh, you can, and if you need to see your trigger, uh, let's say a crank sensor, something that needs very fine detail within the milliseconds, um, there is a an option for crank to monitor crank triggers and things like that. So you can have that time scale uh, in order to zoom in that time scale. I don't think you can zoom in time scales here. Uh, you're just kind of given what you're given, and that's fine for you know a gener um, a general view of what you're dealing with. And if there's anything that's like way out of spec, or you know you need something that's on a finer time scale, um, you might have to do a data log, and then you can zoom in the data log because I don't think you can zoom in here. But you can zoom in really fine on your data logger. So this is a way that you can kind of test your inputs and you also test the compatibility of your firmware between your uh, log viewer and you can see a lot more parameters in your log viewer than you can here. So some things that you might not know are affected in your logs or in some of your other inputs that correlate with your inputs, um, such as the map sensor fuel load uh, will change a, a couple of different parameters at the same time and you can't see that with just the gauge view or the real-time view but you can see that in the mega log viewer so I'll pick up see if I can pick a spot we'll go right here on the mega log viewer I don't quite know how to zoom in on this one spot there we go so as you can see you can get in pretty fine I don't know exactly what kind of time scale that is uh, point, uh, 0 0.1 seconds looks like the max in the in the mega log viewer but in the uh, in the crank trigger see diagnostics and high-speed loggers here in the crank trigger I think you can get even closer so we'll just start that the trigger logger there we go all right so I'll click stop on that and now you can see your triggers see how fine those go and I don't know what the time scale is on this uh, I'm guessing it's 250 milliseconds for the whole thing or what I don't know so that's just something neat that I wanted to show that the mega log viewer is, is very very handy along with your high-speed loggers and the real-time display and you combine all three of those and you've got a pretty good diagnostic system for tuning so I don't know what that is, 100 milliseconds, time base, 10 milliseconds, I'm not sure, but it's, it's pretty darn good. So that is the feature that I've been wanting to see. And it's weird that it was not included in the 2.0.1 firmware, but it is in 3.3. So definitely upgrade if you have an old firmware. And if you're just using the Mega Stim for the first time, then this is also a good way to see your input values other than gauges, so you can actually track them. I'll use the map sensor so you can see what this will trigger is multiple different inputs at the same time. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five different inputs have changed and that's something that you cannot see just by looking at the gauges. Come back to the gauge cluster and only be relying on the gauges. You can't see any of that stuff. But in here, in this view, you can because you have a time base. That's my first look at the Megalog viewer and some of the things I discovered that are definitely worth mentioning and reasons to be excited. The real-time display is what got me excited, got me all giggly inside. This is what I've been waiting for. So I hope they expand on some of the data that you can display in here. I don't know if you can... Oh, good God, I didn't even see that one. Well, there you go. That's every single parameter. That's basically the same thing as the gauges. That doesn't have the uh, the time base. 
So this 10 second time scale, this 10 second time base, approximately, I don't know exactly for sure how long it is. This is the money shot. This is what I've been waiting for. This is good for diagnostics. And if you're into diagnostics, maybe a little bit more than interested in getting into tuning because you just want to upgrade from OBD1 to something that talks to you a little bit better, this is where it's at. This is the stuff that you want. And this is the stuff that's got me really excited about installing Mega Squirt in my car. So I can't wait to get started on this and start wiring it up. You've got loads of different options. Starting parameters, Excel enrichment. You can do boost control for uh, forced induction. It's got launch control. You can add in a nitro system if you want. Uh, 3D tuning, that's your VE tables, so that's your uh, fuel maps. Uh, CAN bus, if you want to add in a control area network, you can do that. Uh, I'm not too interested in the CAN bus stuff yet because there's really not much out for it. And the version of CAN that they're using is not an ISO standard. So a lot of the stuff that they're going to be making for the CAN devices, I believe, is going to be proprietary because they use proprietary CAN headers instead of ISO standards. So uh, you'd have to be a real geek to understand what that's talking about. So just realize that the CAN bus stuff is not standardized in Megasquirt yet. Maybe. I don't know. So that's all I have to show you for today, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know. This is the first time I've ever really seen Megasquirt and messing with it. So I still have a lot to learn, and as you can see, there's a lot of parameters to learn. This is this is not for the, the meek. I'm not saying you have to be an expert in order to come in here and do and mess with this stuff, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know waste spark ignition systems. You have to know what good sine waves and bad sine waves look like and good digital signatures and saw waves and you know all that stuff. Uh, it is it is not for the beginner. Uh, you're going to have a lot of questions if you don't know what any of that stuff I just said means. Mega Log Viewer and Tuner Studio. Uh, if you liked the video, click like, subscribe, because there's definitely more tuning stuff coming forward. I have a new series, a new playlist in my channel. It's called Tuner Stuff or something like that. If you want to check out some of the other tuner videos that I've done, uh, dealing with install, mega stem, Mega Log Viewer, Tuner Studio. It's all first time perspective. Definitely not an expert view. This is all first time. I'm a first timer for just about everything that I do on my channel. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm not lying. <laughs> um, so I hope you liked the video. Talk to you later. Bye.